Hey guys, it is Wellness Wednesday and I am going to talk to you guys about spiritual wellness. Um, Believe it or not, scientists and researchers have said that spiritual wellness is a key factor of you having wellness in your whole life, which is including um, physical wellness, um, mental wellness, as well as um, maybe even financial wellness. I'm example of this and how your spiritual wellness relates to your life on a natural level, on a physical level, on a mental level is like whenever you're looking at people that may have sort of addiction um, or a lot of times maybe even incarcerated or something like that, that uh, when they start getting their life together, it's because they found God. You know, everybody is different as far as um, their interpretation of who God is or who God is to them or what God. Um, but as to me, I'm Team Jesus. Yes, yes, Team Jesus. He is the one and only true and living God. So um, definitely try Jesus. Try him first because he is the one. But I just wanted to get on here and let you guys know that your spiritual wellness is very important. Okay, so people like to know what is spiritual wellness, yes, spiritual health. Um, it's pretty much how you connect with yourself, how you connect with nature, how you connect with um, others, and how you connect with God. All those facts in onto your spiritual health. And just to give you a few tips on how to boost your spiritual okay, wellness. Okay, so number one is to explore your inner you. Okay, explore your inner self. Um look deep in there and figure out what you're holding against yourself or what you're holding yourself back from and also forgive yourself for uh, whatever mistakes you have made um, whatever shortcomings you have make sure that you are really forgiving yourself and then evaluate your values and your beliefs and make sure that your um, that your life is living up to that standard and if not, just figure out where you're going wrong and whatever it is that you need to fix. Um, just pretty much a self-evaluation. Um, number two, evaluate your life to see if um, what you're doing is aligning with your purpose. It may also be just to find your purpose. Um, a lot of people don't um, know what their purpose in life is, but is always seeking Um but it is part of your spiritual health to know what your purpose in life is. Number two, you want to um, meditate. Take time out to meditate on your word. Whatever script of your belief that you believe in, just make sure that you're meditating on that. Um, take a time out daily and just reading and thinking on it, pondering on it, how it relates to your life. Um, number three, you want to uh, journal. That really helps. That helps me a lot whenever I see myself stuck or feel myself stuck um, kind of in a spiritual rut or and I really don't know how to express myself. Uh, verbal words, then I can pretty much write and um, I get a lot out without um, and it's out and you can see that it's out. It's out of you. And not only that, as you're writing it, you're actually looking at it, visually seeing it in your mind and um, also finding solutions at the same time. Maybe um, after your meditation, there's script that is uh, that you've meditated on. The script that you meditated on will bring something back and um, give you an answer to whatever it is that you're journaling on. And number four. I would recommend that you connect with people who um, is in your same faith, in your same belief that um, will help you, um, that will guide you, mentor you, 
And yeah, I think that's it. Until next time, I love you. Bye-bye.